Hey everyone, this is question number 31. I believe this is the final question, actually, on the grade 5 math practice test for TN Ready. The question says a cup, and a uh here means one cup. So I'm going to start out with one cup. One. You can even draw the fancy one if you want. Do one that I can actually identify as a one as opposed to just being a line somewhere. I do a lot of things to draw that so badly. A cup is filled with new unsharpened pencils. The teacher sharpened one-fourth of them, and the student sharpened two-thirds of them. What fraction of the pencils still need to be sharpened? So I'm going to have minus teacher sharpened. So I'm just going to put teacher there. Because we start with one, and we subtract the ones the teacher did, and then we subtract the ones that the student did. Because that will tell us what's left over. So we're starting here, and then... All of a sudden, a fourth of them is gone. And we need to do some work here to figure out, well, what happens if I take two-thirds away? So let's start with the one-fourth first. Now, as he showed in the picture just a second ago, one is really, when I'm looking in terms of fourths, four out of four. And I'm going to subtract one-fourth from that to represent the teacher's contribution. Four minus one is three. And I end up with three fourths, just as I did in the sort of the drawing up here. So now that I've dealt with the teacher's issues, or their contributions, I guess, it's not necessarily the teacher's issues. So I'm ready to do three fourths minus whatever the student did. The student sharpened two thirds. Uh oh. We're looking at completely different, sort of like this and this and this. We're looking at different size pieces here, so I need to find a common denominator. When I do common denominators, I do the multiples. That's just what I do. You may have a different method. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 4, 8, 12. There it is. See, there's a 12 here, and there's a 12 here. So to make that work for 3 fourths, and I'm going to change color over here. To get to that 12... I just can't. I thought I could get by and feel okay with that, how that poor looked, but I mean, it was just so bad. I do four times one, two, three. So even if you don't know the mul if you know the multiplication, you're good to go. But even if you can just skip count, you can still do this. And then the three gets the same treatment, three times three. And since it's conveniently here, three, six, nine. And I should have put a line there to identify it. So nine twelfths. So I'm going to go ahead and near the top somewhere... Actually, I'm just going to erase the old one and put the new one in this place. So instead of 3 fourths, I'm going to have 9 twelfths. Still, the 2 thirds is a thing, isn't it? So let me get rid of this and adjust for that one. And you may think, man, you do a lot of writing in this. I don't want to do that much writing. Once you get used to it, you don't have to do this much writing. It's just if you do struggle with this, doing the writing now before you get into the actual test will make things go much faster. The more, <clears throat> sorry, the more you practice, the more likely it is that you won't have to do any of this external, all this side stuff. But here we are. So to get to 12 for 3, I'm doing 1, 2, 3, 4. So to get to here, I had to multiply by 4. Same thing for 2. And 2 times 4 is, of course, 8. And again, the worst looking for ever. Like it, it doesn't even matter. I'm still annoyed by it. So 8 twelfths. So I'm going to go back over here and take this, put eight blue eight twelfths there, and now I'm going to go through and erase all this nonsense to get it out of the way real fast. So this is what I'm dealing with, nine twelfths minus eight twelfths, so now that I have it broken up into the same size pieces, I just subtract nine minus eight, and I get one. So my answer to number 31 is D, 1 12th. So the teacher and the student did a lot of the work. The student did more, but whatever. Um, so you're left with 1 12th. So your answer to number 31 is, of course, D.